So in today's lecture, we'll continue uh, what we discussed last time. So last time we derived that uh, the loss function for, I mean, a classification problem should uh, look like that. So um, in today's lecture, so we'll try to, uh, I mean, we'll try to further uh, simplify and summarize what we have learned in lecture five. And then we'll, you know, apply the gradient descent and we'll take the derivative of this function, see what we can obtain. So this is today's uh, plan. So first let's review uh, what we had. Uh, what we had was basically we had a classification problem. Okay, so our problem is a classification problem. And we have two classes. Um, perfectly, we can have multiple classes, but uh, uh, let's focus on, uh, we have two classes first. So for example, uh, we have class zero, class zero, uh, we use uh, cats as class zero last time. And then we have class one. Basically, uh, a data comes and uh, our model should be able to approximate the probability um, of, you know, like uh, this sample being in uh, class zero uh, or class one. So what we would like our model to do is to estimate the probability of a sample being in, I mean, zero, class zero, or class one. Let me write it more explicitly. Okay, so class zero or one. So this is uh, um, what we would like our model to do. And uh, uh, if we expand this, so of course, first we have a neural network. So this time I'll use Z as my input and I'll directly use Y hat. So uh, notation is a bit different than last time. Um, so last time I used, uh, last time I used the Y hat as our neural network output. So this time I'll directly use uh, Z. So Z is our uh, H of X. If we think about, uh, we have parameter and we use, so W is the parameters in this, you know, neural network. Okay. And after we get the output of, uh, so this is the output. Okay. Can you guys hear music? No? Okay, then that's good. I guess uh, my mic kind of blocked it. Um, so, and then, this is Z, okay, is being put into a sigmoid function. So sigmoid function, um, we get our like real output, which is, uh, Okay, this is our sigmoid function. So this is our neural networks output, okay? And sometimes, I mean, if you Google, if you look at other machine learning material, um, it's also called this a sigmoid um, as an activation function. So, so the sigmoid sometimes, so let me make a remark here. So the sigmoid is sometimes viewed, ah, oh, pardon my uh, English. So sometimes viewed as an activation function, okay?
And then what happens is basically um, the y hat right here is the estimated probability of this uh, so output this output y hat is an estimated probability okay oh sorry not problem probability probability of this sample in class one, okay? So which is to say if y hat is close to zero, um, we assign it to class zero. So if a y hat is closer to one, um, then uh, we assign it to class one. So uh, for example, if y hat equals 0 0.9, it means, uh, so it is estimated 90% of chance in class one. So, and vice versa. Okay. And lastly is the loss function. Sorry, um, the loss function is nothing but uh, uh, the cross entropy. Okay, so the cross entropy um, for a sample is cross entropy is basically log um, of the likelihood function. I mean, if um, it's okay, we do not know what a likelihood function is. If you have learned uh, linear models and statistics, you would know what a likelihood function is, but uh, this is not our like uh, major point for our class. Our class is to learn how do we take derivatives, you know, how do we code um, taking derivatives. Um, the cross entropy is defined as, so our last function is actually the minus log of uh, the likelihood function because we want to maximize the likelihood function and we want to minimize our loss. So we just take the negative log. So it is a negative log of, uh, of a y times log of y hat minus one minus y, okay? Log of one minus y hat. All right, so this is uh this is our uh, like uh, the um, the cross entropy loss function. So the y y hat. So y is basically um, it's zero or one. It stands for uh, so y is here. So y is zero or one. So basically it's um, representing uh, which classes uh, representing which class this sample is in, okay? For example, Y can be viewed as the falling probability. So we have the falling probability. It is Y equals one given this sample, all right? So we have this identity, why? Think about it. This is a conditional probability, okay? This is a conditional probability of given this sample such that this sample is in class one, okay? If, if y is in class zero, if y is zero, this is zero. So zero equals one, we have zero probability. So y is zero, we have this identity. If y is one, which, which means it's in class one. So given the sample, it's in class one, it's one, okay. 
So we have this identity and uh, um, basically Y is our true target or true label, you know. Okay. And uh, Y hat um, right here is the estimated probability, okay. So like I, um, like we, I think it's in the very first class we introduce what loss function is. Um, loss function is comparing the difference between the target, the true target and our model's prediction. So this cross entropy loss function right here is uh, comparing, so it's, so I'm gonna draw this thing right here. So it's compare the difference between the true probability and our estimated probability, basically. All right, so now, finally, um, gradient decent. So today we'll learn how do we take derivative, how do we implement taking the derivative of this loss function, okay? So first we have, we have uh, uh, samples, so data. So our data is, uh, our data is, um, again, we have uh, capital N that many data. So this is our data. And on Friday, we'll learn uh, how do we represent uh, image data. So uh, we will also uh, you know, learn some uh, image data representation uh, in our homework too. So, um, and in Friday's uh, coding lecture, we will learn you know, how to use Torch to manipulate uh, the image data and how do we pre-process the image data, um, basically they are matrices. And uh, um, and then after Friday's coding lecture, we can try a coding homework number two. So, um, and these are data. And uh, because we have N data, so the loss function, so the loss function is um, the average of these N data. So it's a negative, um, should I move the negative sign inside? Yeah, let, let me just keep this negative sign outside. Okay, so it is uh, yi times natural log of uh, y hat i plus one minus yi natural log of y one minus y hat i um, parentheses. Okay, so where, so these are the uh, the true labels, I'll say the true target for our samples, it's easy as zero or one. So if it's a cat image, if this matrix represents a cat, it's zero, it's y zero. If this matrix represents a dog, um, it's one. And now where this, uh, whoops, where this uh, y hat y uh, is our, um, is our output of uh, the sigmoid function, okay. where zi is, zi is basically the output of our neural network. Uh, so basically we use this function as our neural network. Um, this, is a parameter of this neural network, and uh, um, and this is the input of the neural network. Okay, um, and then we get an output, and we put this output into a sigmoid function. We get our probability. So what I want to emphasize is this L right here. So L is a function of W. Okay, so here's my remark for us. The remark is the NM function, okay? 
right here uses uh, WS parameters. However, our loss function Oh my God, <laughs> that's bad. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, because I had my lecture notes. Um, I have my lecture notes open uh, on the left. So um, let me um, let me minimize this a bit. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. I mean, next time you guys can interrupt me, you know, like uh, using microphone. But uh, I'm I'm watching uh, the chat constantly. Um, but once sometimes I forgot, you can interrupt me. No problem. Okay. Um. Okay. So let me briefly let me briefly. Um, uh, thank you, Catherine and Josh. All right. Um, sorry about earlier. So let me uh, recap what we did. Um, basically, we have the gradient descent is for lots of data. It's like, for example, we have 5,000 cat and dog images. Um, we want to train a neural network to tell which one is cat, which one is dog. And uh, um, this is our data. OK, so on Friday, we'll learn how do we uh, formulate image data and how do we pre-process them. And then we formulate this loss function. So the last function is y, you know, uh, yi is without the hat, y is our uh, true target or true label. It's either zero or one. And uh, um, y hat right here is our estimated probability um, that it's a sigmoid function. So sigma normally stands for a sigmoid function. And uh, it's a sigmoid function of our neural network's output. Okay. So, and, uh, um, and our estimated probability is obtained through putting our neural network's input into the sigmoid function. And zi is our neural network's input. So, um, and this h is a function representing our neural network. W is the parameters uh, in this parameter uh, in this uh, neural networks. So, including um, so weight matrices. So, for example, uh, W capital L, which is the weight matrix of alpha layer and biases. Okay, so B of I, sorry, B of L. So uh, of L's layer, okay. So it's, uh, it's a collection. So W stands for all the parameters, weights and biases and for all the layers. Um, and the loss function. So this, let me let me change the color of this remark. Let me use red. So remark. So W is a parameter of our uh, like a neural network, but it is a variable. So, but W is the um, independent. Okay. Ah, part of my spelling. So independent. A uh, variable of the loss function. Okay. So let me put several exclamation marks to mark how important uh, this is. Our loss function uses the weights or say the parameter of our neural network as independent variable, it means, it means, what does this mean is we want to, what we, our goal 
is we optimize the loss function by changing the parameters, okay? So this is our optimization problem. We have a neural network and uh, by introducing this loss function, which has this weight as variables, we try to get a better neural network to suit our task. So what is, uh, so what is the machine learning? So why is we say it's learning is because so through gradient descent, which we'll introduce, um, you know, maybe next week formally through gradient descent. Okay. So we try to get, uh, we try to get a better W. Basically we use this W, the set of weights to represent our uh, neural network. So we try to get a better W to better perform the task, okay? In this case, it's classified it's tail cats from dogs. So, um, I mean, in other tasks, we may have different tasks, for example, you know, um, find protein in some, you know, images uh, to view x-ray to, you know, segment x-ray. So we, for different tasks, we have different loss functions. So that's, uh, that's a take from here. But for the classification, this task, we use cross entropy as our loss function, okay? And the loss function uses weights as our variable. So every, we wanna minimize the loss function to find a better set of weights to better perform the task. So that's uh, why we say it's, uh, it's learning to do something because uh, it's performing some task and we find a better set of weights to perform this task better. So now let's take the derivative. Okay, so derivatives. So the gradient descent is basically, uh, so kth iteration. Okay, let me add here. The kth iteration is, uh, so basically it's a w k plus one. So the k plus one iterate is obtained by w k subtract alpha alpha is a positive. It's called a learning rate. So the grad of W, let me, let me still use partial derivative. Okay. Let me, let me use this notation. So this is gradient descent. So at the kth iteration, this is our, uh, at the kth iteration, this is currently what our weights are and we perform gradient descent. We take the gradient, we evaluate this gradient at uh, you know, the current weights and we multiply alpha. Alpha is a step size. And uh, in machine learning, this, all this package is called learning rate. So or, or LR in short, and, uh, um, and we, then we will we'll get a new set of weight, you know, so, and we hope uh, this one better performs our task better. So why I'm saying I hope is sometimes it's not always the case, okay? And later we will learn uh, why it's not always the case. And now we wanna take the derivatives. Um, so first one is we wanna take derivatives of uh, uh, the sigmoid function. Okay, so, um, so lemma. So what is the derivative of a sigmoid function? The sigmoid function is actually uh, quite interesting. So let's prove it. I mean, it's uh, it's this is a this is a nice calculus. I mean, exercises. Um, the key is we we do not 
So this thing is so, um, I mean, subtle is because uh, if we take derivative of a function, we want to represent the expression explicitly in function z. But instead, when we take the derivative, we do not want to do this. Instead, we represent our derivative using the original function. So this is like an ODE, all right? So, all right. So um, basically, uh, we take derivatives. And uh, we we use chain rule. And let me put uh, the minus sign afterward. So it's minus. And uh, we take derivative um, of this. Then this term, it's minus e to the minus c. As we can see, um, the two minus sign uh, will get canceled. So uh, what we have here is uh, And we have a square here, right? So we kind of borrow <clears throat> one copy of e to the minus z's power and we, uh, we kind of do this trick. Sorry, minus z, okay. And we're done. So uh, we just proved it. And it's, uh, it's sigma. Yeah, let me, let me just uh, mark it here. So this is sigma of z, and this is uh, one minus sigma of z. And also, this, I mean, this notion of using sigma z uh, without explicitly using this, you know, suits our back propagation the most. Okay, so this expression. Um, suits the uh, back prop the most. So actually, uh, if you are interested in becoming a machine learning engineer um, and you want to do, for example, uh, on Coursera, there's a TensorFlow certificate and there is a TensorFlow certificate. Um, I mean, I took the exam, but uh, you know, without giving them money. Um, so there is one question actually like this. Okay, uh, why we wanna, so I got this uh, uh, remark from that exam. Why we wanna write sigmoid functions derivative in this way? The answer is uh, because it's the best expression for uh, back propagation, okay? And then next lemma is we wanna take the derivative of uh, uh, the cross entropy function. Okay, so uh, I think it's a long derivative, um, but let's do it. Okay, so next is uh, um, for a single sample. So let's uh, say, so lemma two and uh, for a single sample, we have minus y um, and W, let me emphasize this is W, okay. Um, and it's natural log of Y hat, subtract one minus Y, natural log of one minus Y hat. And where, uh, y hat is our sigmoid function of our neural network. So uh, let me write this directly, okay. Um, so this is a sigmoid function. This is our neural network's output. And finally, the inside is uh, our uh, neural network. So we want to derive. We want to derive what is um, what is our neural um, what is uh, our um, like the derivative of uh, of this. Okay. So we'll see that this is nothing but uh, y subtract y hat and uh, times 
the partial derivative of uh, uh, let me see. Okay. Uh... Okay, my notes kind of messed up. Wait a second. Um, Um, where's my notes? Um, okay, let's let's derive it and then uh, we'll um, then then we'll put uh, the, the statement of the lemma on the way. Okay, so we try to derive uh, this function. So proof. What happens is uh, first let's compute. Let's compute uh, uh, basically partial this guy equals partial L partial Y hat times partial Y hat partial W. All right. Um, so I think this is partial H partial W. I'm not sure, but, uh, um, but let's just uh, derive and let's uh, see if uh, it's true on the way. I think my notes putting too specific of uh, the layers. So, but let's see if this is a case. So first we use chain rule, all right? So first we use chain rule. Um, the last function with respect to, uh, the derivative with respect to W is basically we take a derivative with respect to this first, and then um, we, take, uh, we take derivative of the neural network function uh, with respect to that. So, um, and so now let's try to compute this first. This is nothing but uh, a good exercise um, of uh, calculus. So what we have here is minus y times uh, the derivative of a y hat. Keep in mind, even though we have y, you know, y x, but uh, during taking derivative with respect to the neural network, um, it they they are not uh, variables, so they are. So when we optimize um, something, they are like we'll optimize the weight. I'm sorry, optimize the loss function. They are fixed. Now we take derivative, we get one over uh, y hat, and subtract one minus y um, times. The derivative of this will get uh, one minus one over one minus y hat. But because we take derivative, right? So we take derivative of this term. When we use chain rule, we actually we have uh, a plus right here. Okay. So. And if we simplify, if we simplify this, uh, we just uh, multiply, we just multiply. Um, did I derive something wrong? Why well, have a different sign problem here? Okay. So if we multiply, Yeah, I think we're good right here. So if we simplify this, we'll get, uh, this is y hat minus um, one minus y hat of minus y times 
one minus y hat plus one minus y times y hat. So we'll have these two cancelled, see? So minus y, uh, minus y hat. So we have plus and we have minus here. So they got cancelled. Uh, we get this is y hat, one minus y hat times um, y hat minus y, okay? And the next is we want to express so, um, so next is what we want to do is uh, we want to do y hat um, with respect to w, okay? So what happens here is um, we still want to use chain rule, okay? So for example, uh, if we denote this in short as uh, H, then what we can do is Y hat taking derivative with respect to H and then uh, derivative of H with respect to W. And now we use lemma, our first lemma, right here. So the sigmoid function's derivative is nothing but the sigmoid function times one minus the sigmoid function. So what we have y hat is the sigmoid function of this guy, uh, which is our h. So what happens is uh, um, if we take derivative of our sigmoid function, um, we'll basically we'll get so um, keep this in mind. So y hat is sigmoid of h, then uh, partial y hat of partial h is basically uh, sigmoid of h times one minus sigmoid of h, which is y hat times one minus y hat. I think I think I made a mistake here, right? So uh, because they are gonna cancel. So um, they are supposed to be canceled. Um, let me backtrack. Oh, my bad. So the common denominator, so this is should be common denominator. Okay. So they should be common denominator. All right. And now what we happen, uh, what happens here is uh, um, we just plug in, okay? So we just plug in the derivative of y hat with respect to our neural network, which is y hat times one minus y hat. So what happens here is y hat times one minus y hat partial h partial w. So this, this term is basically the term we learned how to take derivative the last week, all right? h is a neural network's output. It's like something here. So um, I think I used the z, right? My bad, pardon the notation. So this is z. Let me change this to z, z, z. So it's z, z, and this is uh, z. Z and z. Okay, so this is z. This term, this term right here, okay, is the neural network back propagation we learned the last week. So this is uh, this is NN's derivative gradient. And uh, in, uh, so we can refer to lecture four, le I mean the whole lecture four, which consists of uh, several lectures notes. And now we just plug in back. 
So we have this times this. So this will cancel with that. And what happens is uh, we have this. So it's uh, actually, so now we have obtained our lemma. So this implies uh, partial L partial W is partial L partial Y times partial Y hat partial W. And we get, we basically will multiply this term and this term we get, this is uh, y hat subtract y, okay? So partial z is nothing but h of x w and partial w. So this is our neural network function and this is our uh, w, okay? So as we can see the derivative, the gradient, the gradient actually measures the gradient, so here is a, here is our remark. The gradient of the cross entropy loss measures the difference. Okay. So this is how the neural network will affect our loss function. And this is their difference. Okay. So measures the difference of y hat and y. And uh, now the final part of today's class uh, remark two is, uh, so let's compare, let's compare the least square loss. Okay, so MSE loss. So if we have a least square or say MSE mean square law, um, error, this loss, MSE loss, where um, still we have our function with, without the sigmoid. Okay, so this is without the sigmoid. So without the sigmoid, let's see what happens. Then this is more straightforward, right? So um, then this is more straightforward. Um, so L partial L partial W. So for the, for the MSE loss, which is this, so this is comparing the absolute difference between two numbers, then we take square to make it smoother. And uh, Y hat is the direct output of our neural network without the sigmoid function. Then what happens is this is more straightforward times partial Y partial W, okay? If we take derivative, what we will get will be two times y hat subtract y times. So this is taking derivative of y hat, we'll get this term. And then times y hat taking derivative of w. So as we can see here, as we can see here, their form is exactly the same. I mean, if we add a one half here, then, then we have one, okay? So the form of, uh, of the gradient of the loss function um, is the same. So let me add this x, w here. Even though we have gone through so complicated procedure of comparing the difference of two probability, and we introduce uh, this sigmoid function, but the loss function taking derivative with respect to the weight has the same form. All right, so uh, this is uh, same form. Um, with the uh, cross entropy loss. Okay. All right. Um, 
So the, the last part is uh, um, remark three uh, I want to make is, so negative gradient, let's consider what, what negative gradient. So what uh, negative gradient uh, means or stand for in terms of uh, in terms of uh, we, if we want to do something like, uh, you know, intuitively, um, like to understand what negative gradient means, uh, I would say add in this context. Okay, so in this context, if we look at the negative gradient, so negative gradient is, uh, um, so if we take negative, gradient, right? So if we take negative gradient, this is gradient. If we take negative, we basically negate this term. It's y subtract y hat. We take uh, y subtract y hat times the neural network function taking derivative with respect to our uh, weight. So we think about, we think about this one is nothing but because, keep in mind, this is a number. Okay, so this has the sh same shape with W, so. So same shape with the weight W, okay? So this is the difference. Y is like a either zero or one. Let's pretend the Y is one. Okay, so, so if Y is one. And because, because uh, Y hat is sigmoid function, sigmoid function is always between zero or one. Okay, so we know that uh, uh, Y hat is always less than one, which means, which means this will be a positive number. Okay. So W uh, K plus one equals W K minus alpha partial L partial W. Okay. Uh, then is W K plus this alpha y subtract y hat, this partial h of partial w, okay? So if we add this to w, if we add this to w, this is actually dry, driving w in the direction of uh, we making this uh, uh, smaller and smaller. I don't think I have time for, uh, but uh, so ne in next lecture, we'll elaborate more of this. So in next lecture, okay. So that's it for today. Basically what I wanna say is uh, uh, this gradient descent uh, will try to drive these two uh, to be zero, okay. But that's it for today. So I'll, I'll stop recording and next time uh, we'll continue from here. I'm sorry, next coding lecture, uh, we will you know, learn how to manipulate the image data and on Monday we'll continue from here.